What's up everyone, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters, still battling a reanimating flu. But here, I have this last little box here of Kanz Turk here. I've already done my official box opening. I've done a, just the sauce opening. And I was originally thinking, you know what? <clears throat> Maybe I'll just open one uh, in my living room and, and have a beer or seven because uh, it's always really stressful, new release time. But you know what? <clears throat> new set releases should be like a party, right? I mean, we're all happy. We've got our new set, and I decided I'd rather share it with you guys, kick it. So maybe uh, kick it up a notch and share some of your stories in the comment section down below. I always read the comments, even if I don't reply all the time. <clears throat> So I'd love to hear some of your concert here release day stories, maybe some stories about some epic pulls, something funny that happened. Let's just kick it. Let's just hang out. Like so this will be like a 15 minute video and you know, pretend we're all in the same room. This was uh, the this is the final box sent by the amazing people at mtgcardmarket.com. I got to view their actual store and I shot a vlog and uh, so I will release that <clears throat> later this week. And uh, it was a tough drive being super sick, but worth it. And uh, now that I've been there once, I know I could get back there easily enough. And uh, you know, if I'm not super sick, <clears throat> won't be so bad. By the way, they uh, have, I think they're still active, MTGHQ10 or Born2014. You could save 10% on their website. So go check them out. Uh, I've heard great things. I know a lot of people say hi to them at, at GPs and stuff like that. And the HQ Army, <clears throat> um, you guys kick ass because you make guys like that feel like what they're doing is good, right? And that it's having s some impact. And so they stick around and they've been with the channel for almost a year now, more than a year. Burn Away, Briber's Purse, Set Adrift, Villainous Wealth. <clears throat> Still looking for uh, I have a Soren. I have no Sorens. I have zero Sorens. I, I don't know if I have all the fetchies. I think I at least have one of each. Definitely need more. Definitely need play sets because I'm going to play standard. I'm going to... This winter, you will see me at FNM. <clears throat> Sultai Ascendancy. And, uh, you know, if you're looking to have the rares red and all that stuff, um, check out the official concept. I've opened, this is the third booster box, so make sure you check them all out. All these boxes are all part of a playlist and where I open up all of the Kanzatar Kier product. I will open the event deck when that comes out. I think that'll be everything. Sign of Glaciers. <clears throat> Mystic Monastery, unless they do a battle pack. Siltai Soothsayer and Crater's Claws. Direct, little direct damage. Ooh, and a foil Siltai Banner. So, uh, yeah, so I drove down to MTG Card Market to get <clears throat> my Kanza Tark here. And uh, Jameson wasn't there, but uh, another fellow I've met a few times was there and very smart dude. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, sealed speculation, seeker of the way. He's a collector of sealed product, heart piercer bow, and butcher of the horde. <clears throat> Very cool card. I don't know. Um, this could. I mean, I could see. I could definitely see this uh, have con see this with see this having some constructed play. I'm not totally positive. Foil naturalize, but it's like kind of like uh, the desecration demon size. Four mana, it's like undercosted. <clears throat> Four mana for a five power. Um, you can sack a little late game. You can sack a dork and uh, give it haste. It's very versatile. I, I like the card a lot, and I hope Mardu becomes a standard deck because it's kind of like my. It embodies my uh, play style. Roar of the Challenge, Warden of the Eye, and Wu-Tang Clan's Flying Crane Technique. 
Remember to cast this before they block. Saw that happen at pre-release. Felt really bad for the guy. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. I'm just, you know, you've heard me say I'm sick. But I'm powering through. Not like I'm not getting anything out of this. I mean, I'm having fun opening up cons. But uh, it's a little rough. Goblin Slide, High Spire Mantis, Mardu Rough Rider, and Rakasha Death Deal. I love this card. It will get first picked in draft. Uh, it's very, very good. Could see constructive play. I'm a self-proclaimed non-expert at standard, but I think to say I know nothing about it would be going too far. And I will be playing it this year. More. Stubborn Denial. I also built a modern deck, for those of you that must know. Teamer Charm. Secret Plans. Oh, and our very first Fetch of the Box Windstep, Windswept Heath. Awesome. It's like the same feel as pulling a shock land to me now. I mean, it's not like you're pulling an onslaught fetch from an onslaught pack that's worth like 200 bucks or was worth 200 bucks, you know? It is awesome though, and I feel fortunate to, you know, be more um, familiar with the format and uh, <clears throat> Bear Companion. And Wingmate Rock, very two very strong pulls in a row. I talked about it in some of the earlier videos, speaking of story time. You know, this is kind of a bizarre time, like a, a time where I... It's not bizarre, but it's it's where I finally come like full circle. I've been back in Magic long enough to where I'm familiar with all of the cards that will be in Standard. You know, before, like, Modern was super overwhelming, right? Because... I know very few of the cards, but at least in standard now, now I've been around long enough. Trap Essence. I've been around long enough to be very familiar with uh, the cards that I'm going to see in any standard deck. It took a while. So I didn't really get back into it until RTR. I didn't start playing heavily till RTR. I was buying cards like New Frexia Scars, but I was still playing like I wasn't drafting. I'd never drafted before then even. And I was still just playing casually. Pine Walker with my one friend who moved away. So Horde Ambusher. Then I found MTGO. Dead Drop. And Sage of the Inward Eye. Three, four flyers. Legitimate. <clears throat> and a foil Doom Blast. Well, uh, there's our foil rare. That is the rare I pulled in my pre-release pack. A rare I thought was going to be worth like $10, but it was worth like $2. So, yeah, I don't know. There must be better options for EDH players out there. Blinding Spray. Obzon Falconer. Tuskard Captain. And Altar of the Brood. And so, yeah, so I started playing the first, I think the very first draft I ever did was our Return of Ravnica. It's an exciting time. I can't wait to play cons on MTGO. Chief of the Edge. Swarm of Bloodflies. Very good limited card. <clears throat> Nomad Outpost. Ooh, and a Blood Soaked Champion. Awesome. I will be going to my local game store tomorrow because I still support them. Even though they're not a channel supporter, I get it. I mean, they're a smaller place-ish. Riverwheel Aerialists. Although, they have three locations. They're not too small to support MTGHQ. Armament Corpse. But they don't sell online. Death Frenzy. <clears throat> All right. And a Wooded Foothills. That is two fetchies. Two to four per box is uh, what I've been hearing. I've been... Uh, the very first box I opened had five. Then it went down to like two or three. So, it's probably right. Venerable Lamsu. So, I will go to my Just Catch turn. Set Adrift and Utter End. Wow, we're in the sauce, folks. And a foil Abzon Falconer. Um, I still support them, so I will go there and I will buy a box tomorrow morning. I didn't buy my cases from there, though, because they don't offer any case discount. Sorry, guys. But that's the fact. It's bad enough they charge 130 for a booster box. 
Marty Blazebringer. Become Immense. Teamer Charger. Dragon Style Twins. Oh, man. You tricked me, Blossoming Sands. I was all ready to go B A N A N A S. That's all right. Because I'm kind of sick, I'm a little under the weather. I was off my mark on that. I saw like a foil goldish card in the back of the pack. Um, I didn't think it was a land until I just saw it. So, Timely Horde Meat, Briber's Purse, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, and Siege Rhino. Had I been on my game, had I been not super sick, I probably would have fallen harder. So yeah, tell me your stories about uh, cons, you know. Dragon Grip, Water World, Murderous Cut, Serac Dragon Claw. Very good card. Um, one thing that's concerning to me is uh, I seem to see a lot of negativity around the set. I'd be curious to see if that's the vocal minority or what you guys think. Do people say it's boring and Ruthless Ripper. I kind of would have liked uh, Convoke to stick around, maybe. Monastery Swift Spear, Raider Spoils, and Savage Knuckle Blade. I don't know why people would say it's boring. I mean, it's. It, I don't think it's boring. Is it people just being like overwhelmed by the three color transition? Or do you guys really think it's boring? I mean, I, it looks like there's probably gonna be five or six cards, maybe, maybe seven or eight cards that are gonna immediately impact standard. So that's not nothing. It's more than sets like Dragon's Maze had where, where it had like two or three cards. Mistfire Weaver. Gurmag Swiftwing. Hair of the Wilds. All right, and Flooded Strand. Call it three. We want, as long as we are, are on the high end of Fetchlands, I'm always gonna be happy with these boxes. Uh, current prices will plummet. So, uh, wait to buy your fetch, fetch lands. Don't buy them right away unless you absolutely need them for our deck. Master of the Way, Soul Tie Flare, Watcher of the Roost, and Hardened Scales. I mean, this set is going to be opened like RTR levels, right? For a lot of the same reasons. Dazzling Ramparts, Obzon Charm, Ride Down, and Sultai Ascendancy. Like, part of me is thinking I'll probably sell my fetch lands immediately and rebuy them later when they're like seven or eight bucks instead of 15 bucks. Ooh, there's a foil blue card back there. But I don't know. I'll have to look at the prices. Mardu Heart Piercer, Bellowing Saddlebrute. Frontier Biovac, Mind Swipe, Mind Swipe, an embodiment of spring. Although you know, I'm in. A, I'm not in the position to really be hoarding cards right now. I'm more in more in the position of, if I truly want to play standard, I need to keep the cards I want. I need and probably sell the rest so I can finish decks and stuff. So, you know, Chief of the Scale. Take up arms, Warden of the Eye, and Icy Blast. So yeah, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping that, like, maybe Boros Burn can be a deck with Splashing Black. I don't know. That would be kind of fun, I think, with like Butcher of the Horde in there, Crackling Dooms, Seek the Horizon, Quiet Contemplation. Witness of the Ages. And we have an Obzon Ascendancy. Come on, Sarkhan, where are you? Not Sarkhan, uh... Oh, now I'm not even gonna... Now I can't think of his name. Soren. Three boxes. Five intro decks. And a fat pack. No Soren. 
Maybe that's why he's like $20 on pre-order right now. Scion of Glaciers. Opulent Palace. Suspension Field. Altar of the Brood. This is extremely common, rare. Oh, we have a foil. Gurmag Swiftwing. So thanks again to MTG Car Market. You know, follow the link in the description. Pop it open in the other window. If you need anything for your decks, check them out. I'm told they have great pricing. Uh, everyone that's dealt with them, at least that I've heard from, has been really happy. The guys are just flat out really nice if you meet them at uh, like an event or something. Hobbs on Battle Priest. Kiru Bloodsucker. Bear's Companion. Howl of the Horde. Excuse me. Bear fucker. Sorry. Sorry. Bleep. Every time I see that card, that's what I think of. Goblin Slide. Cranial Archive, which will look great in foil. Dragon's Eye Savants. And a Sarkhan. I saw that loyalty and I was like, oh, whoop, whoop. All right. Sarkhan. Solid pull. Probably means we won't see any more fetchies. Probably means we won't see Soren either. And I don't have any more boxes to open to chase Soren. Ooh, there's a foil land back here. Yeah, oh, not again. Oh, man. And a rare is Segu Mahler. Ah, these, this is such a troll. These life gaining lands. Such a troll. I've been, I, I guarantee you, people out there, I'm not the only one getting, thinking they pulled a foil fetch. And you see that thing just floating back there, up to no good. Winter Flame. Merrick Nightblade, Nightblade, Despise, Ivory Tusk Fortress. I don't think I opened enough stuff to uh, revive the HQ packs. Maybe I will. Follow me on Facebook to uh, keep posted about that. Those are always fun. People like buying those. River Wheel Aerialists. Ice Feather Even. Mardu Roof Rider. Just Guy Ascendancy. All right, six packs left. I'm calling one fetch, one Soren. Why am I doing that? Because I want to, those are the cards I want. I want more, one more fetch and I want Soren. <laughs> um, it's unlikely to find up, it's unlikely that I'll get one of each Planeswalker in a box. So maybe another fetch would be great. Misfire Weaver, Team Return. Secret Plans, Mendering Tower Shell, and a Foil Roar of Challenge. And there's a Soren emblem. All right, Soren, don't troll me. Don't troll me, bruh. I got your emblem. You better be in here. Dude, dude, do you even troll? Ruthless Ripper. High Spire Mantis. Heir of the Wilds. An Avalanche Tusker. You know what would be good is a good old Rattleclaw, too. Haven't seen any him in this box. You know, that card's set up, even though I think it's a buy a box promo, but it's still setting up to be expensive because it's not exactly pulling, like, a ton of them. I don't, I mean, not pulling many. Holding Outburst. Become Immense. <laughs> Boner reference. Heart Piercer Bow. And End Hostilities. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I hope you enjoyed telling some tales in the comment section down below. If you happen to be new to the channel. Seriously, bro. Subscribe. I'm working hard to reach the uh, 75,000 subscriber mark. I'll be able to start promoting that as soon as cons. The dust settles around cons. Arc Lightning. Horn Ambusher, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, and Empty the Pits. Right on. That's the first one of those I pulled, too. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is letting people send a fat pack to, like, promote their, their YouTube channels or promote 
let's say a cause like if you want to send a fat pack for you know like breast cancer in dogs or something um you know that might be kind of cool a cool way to interact and get your message out there and help uh help hq afford all these crazy fat packs like some of them are like 400 bucks brave the sands mardu charm war name aspirant Kira Lich, Lich Lord, Lich Lord, Lich Lord. Last pack. Okay, we are light on fetches. We're right down the middle. This is almost identical to the second box I opened. Don't expect a fetch or a planeswalker in this last pack because I think when you get a walker, it's kind of like you go down to three fetch lands. I feel like that was true with shock lands too. But I don't know for certain. I didn't open that much stuff back then. Kintree Invocation? Roar of the Challenge, Sultai Charm, and Thousand Winds is our final rare. So, the uh, Notables. So again, if you're new to the channel, if this, you know, if you're just researching cons and that brought you to the channel, please take a second to subscribe so you get notified every time I upload a new video. There's deck text, there's gameplay, there's tutorials, there's prep videos, all sorts of stuff. I also stream on twitch.tv slash MTG headquarters, typically on Tuesday and Thursday evenings. Check me out there. And if you haven't already, make sure you like this video. I know I've asked for a lot. I appreciate it. I really do. I know you guys get sick of me asking, but I, I super appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Helps new, new, new people find us and join the community. Flooded Strand, Wooded Foothills, Windswept Heath. So we had three fetch lines in that box. Other notable rares, uh, Empty the Pits, um, Sarkhan, of course. I mean, there's good stuff in here. Sorox, okay. Other Ends, good. Bloodsoak Champion's good. Our Foil Rose, Doombus, Windmate Rot. I, I could see that card if somebody breaks it, end up being $10 plus. Uh, Butcher the Hor of the Horde. Very good. Not a bad box overall. It was super fun to open. Super fun hanging out with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.